Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Taurus. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. Alright, so Taurus, we have the King of Swords showing up. Okay. And uh, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. And the light is not doing right. Okay. So we have the King of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Um, it looks like somebody wants to work on something with you. They've been thinking about this over and over again. Um, it looks like your energy could have been more, you were more invested in this relationship than the other person. Invested in terms of your money, your time, your resources, your love, your energy. Um, I don't know, you guys may have done something over and over again. Or, or they did something over and over again. Uh, you could have been starting this relationship over and over again. This is the Lord of Prudence here with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, you're not excited about this because you've done this over and over again. It is, it's dull, it's stale. Someone just wants you back because they're thinking of you over and over again and thinking of what they did and what they didn't do, what they said and what they didn't say. There could be an energy of someone loving the other more than the other person. So there's, you know, there's an imbalance here, if you will. The King of Swords. Uh, this could be a narcissist, you know, we're throwing that word around so frequently here. Um, this is just the eternal bachelor. This is somebody who really, deep down inside, they could really go through life alone. Now, will they have relationships? Yeah, but do they want to be in the committed, traditional relationship, settled down each and every day? It's the same thing. No, they don't. They they would love they the lone wolf, and they have high standards even when they do settle down. If they do take the low bearing fruit or the lesser person, it is because they're being strategic. Maybe that person has something that they want. Maybe this person is giving to a situation more than they should. And this person is on the lower vibration of the King of Swords. He will take. He is dutifully strategic. This is the formidable opponent. Okay? So if you do want to go up against this person, be ready. Um, this is a person who wants to start something over with you. Because you guys done it over and over again or you have already started this over with them but what they have is no course of action of how to actually solidify this new starting over it's just let's just explore let's just jump into it let's just do it again um and that is toxic it is not going to end well the devil card says make sure you're not making a choice that will lead you down a road of blockage entrapment closure or it being enclosed, where you'll have to find your way out. Don't be too extravagant in your choices. The Lord of Prudence. Hold back. Because something's going to be revealed to you here with the Sun card. It says that this negative is, is going to be turned into a positive because somebody doesn't have the best intentions. So this energy will overshadow that energy. Um, and somebody's going to start to see clearly. So clearly that it's going to cause conflict. They're going to say, you know what? That doesn't make sense. Or this does make sense. Or well, if people are, they're going to start putting putting things together. Putting, you know, it together. Two plus two is four all day. Um, that could be you, Taurus, or the other person. Someone could want to come back together with you. Call a truce with you. Because you are the better person. Because there is a choice here. A choice of another person. This person could have even walked away from another individual to come to you. 
to have that lap of luxury, that emotional fulfillment, um, good food, good drink, good, good wine. Maybe even you live in a nice home. Um, this could be same sex also. Or both of you are coming up in king energy. So both of you are coming up in your masculine energy because there's not a level of trust here. Um, you could be married to this person. Or this person could want to marry you. This person has a wife. But this person could be gay. Um, closeted. Yep. Oh, wow. After I said it. Yep. They're in the closet. And they want you as a third party. Um, it's like they want you to rescue them. They want you to come and get them out of this. It feels good with you. You're the soulmate. The relationship fits them better. But they want you in secret. Because they have a secret. And they're not ready to come out. If you had an argument with this person. They just want to move on. Let's move past this. Yes we have major issue here. Super interference. Major obstacle. But that doesn't matter. Let's just move on. Uh, this is your reading for the week, Taurus. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. Pay for your question, receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. If you want to manifest new love, new energy, new streams of income, banish things and or people, you can get in on the New Moon Manifestation Session that is happening July 9th, this Friday. There'll be a video following this video that'll give you some insight about how to get in on that. You can also go to my community tab and uh, participate that way. Let's bring in new energy. I'm so tired of reading this stuff for all these signs. I mean, every sign this week has been, um, you know, uh, third party, blah 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 whatever it's all running together i'm using several different decks i'm not in a relationship so with nobody no i have nothing it's keep it to ourselves <laughs> don't tell anybody i have nothing I, but anyway i mean like so i know that my energy is not affecting these readings it's just crazy how this is the seventh month, so the seven is about relationships, marriages, partnerships, interpersonal relationships. So this will make sense that a lot of this stuff is coming out and it's coming up. But um, I tell you, it is draining that um, so many people are going through so many uh, so many relationship issues. But we put ourselves there, and you can put yourself out too. So. If you're in this Taurus and you want out, many blessings to you. Um, things will turn around. All right, bye guys.